Hey folks, Prepper Princess, just another typical day. Uh, I'm bringing in some solar. I've got my LED bulb charging. I did a couple of loads on my portable washer using the Kodiak generator. I've got my mister right here, Rocky Cameo, and I wanted to talk to you guys about food insecurity. And it's such a nice day out. It's a little bit windy, but it's such a nice day. I wanted to uh, cook outside. So this is my EcoZoom. And I just added a little bit of lighter fluid to the paper. This is a biomass, so it will burn any type of biomass, everything from pine cones and pine needles to wood and paper. And as you can see, it lights up really well. And I'm just gonna be cooking a one egg omelet with some vegetables and some potatoes. And it does have these pre-put pre rivets on there and I'm just gonna use a cast iron stove Leave it here for a few minutes for it to warm up and get the pan nice and hot. And uh, we'll be back in a minute. And I, again, I wanted to talk to you guys about some food insecurity that's a little, little bit scary going on. It's super hot. Okay, great. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, so it's only been about five minutes and it's already, I checked the pan, it's super hot. So at this point, one in every 10 Americans suffers from food insecurity. So one out of 10 people, that includes vets, that includes elderly, that includes children. And it's a really scary concept, especially with the elderly who, you know, they don't only not have food security, they also don't really have family members that they can rely on to help take care of them, help pay their bills. And it's a really scary situation knowing that, you know, preparing preparing for your financial future is one of the most important things you can do social security for people my age is going to run out it's going to run out in i believe it's 17 years i'll be 54 at the time and you can't retire until you're 62 so we have to come up with an alternate plan alternative plan and i'm not talking about the government getting involved and providing us with an alternate i'm talking about us personally we have to take responsibility for ourselves and responsibility for our finances to ensure that we don't suffer from food insecurity at an old age when we're no longer healthy enough or, or no longer capable of work. And, you know, we live in a digital age right now, so, you know, there's so many people right now who are, who are disabled and don't have money and at this point, I'm thinking that the only alternative is really living in multi-generational households where everybody splits the bills. But if you're elderly and you're not working and there is no social security, you're not receiving any income, you're gonna have to completely rely on other people in order to take care of yourself, in order to live, in order to survive, in order to eat. There are food banks, but think about this, when there's millions of baby boomers right now that are retiring, and then when it comes time for people my age to retire, if everybody's doing it at the same time, those food banks are gonna be empty. So I'm just giving everybody a, not a warning, but I'm inspiring you to save your money as much as possible, invest your money as much as possible, do everything that you can, every spare penny, to beat the rate of inflation, to anything, any investment that it exceeds 3%, go for it. I'm just gonna cook these up real quick. I'll, uh, I'll keep you guys with the video as I cook, and we'll see what we end up with at the end. Look out, mister. Okay, so the potatoes are pretty much halfway done. So now I'm just gonna add my asparagus cheese and one egg omelet. The eggs come from our chickens. And I did wanna also talk to you guys, because there's been some comments lately about the products that I do reviews on and the fact that I should be mentioning that I get them for free and there's an affiliates program. And that's cool, I, I totally get that. I can do that from now on. So the EcoZoom was provided to me free of charge. If you guys use the link that I provide in the video description below, 
I make about $5 off of each sale. Maybe 10, depending on which EcoZoom you get. So that's not a problem for me. I have no problem being completely open with you guys. And also, I want you guys to understand that I would never provide a review of a product or promote any product that I was not happy with. So what you guys don't see on the back end is that a lot of companies contact me to do product reviews and to do get stuff for free, affiliates programs and stuff like that. Um, I'm really big on customer service. So if the customer service sucks, I won't do it. If I get the product, and I have received dozens of products, this is Himalayan sea salt. I've received dozens of products that were pieces of crap. And I contacted the company and said, you don't want me to do a product review on this. It's a piece of junk and I don't want my viewers to buy it. And they will either ask me to send it back and they'll pay for the shipping to receive it back or um, they will say, just keep it. And I do have a few products that um, I've kept, but I don't, I don't um, promote them. I, I don't promote them. I don't use them on my channel. Even if I do use them a couple of times or once in a while, I will not promote it on my channel. So I want you guys to understand that I would, again, never promote a product that I do not use on a, on a regular basis, that I do not like, that has poor customer service, um, something that my viewers would not be able to use or you would take my word for it and then find, and then find out that it's not something that you would be able to use because you found that I lied. I'm very big on integrity and... I, I don't want you guys to think that I'm gonna gonna lead you astray in any any sort of way when it comes to this type of thing. Um, I am working on the Kodiak. So, um, as you guys know, the Kodiak generator is um, a big, amazing, huge, you know, off-grid energy project, and I'm always trying to tinker with things that I like and see if they can work better or what type of things they can work with. People are asking if they'll work with a refrigerator and a CPAP machine. In my experience with the Kodiak, they say that it'll it'll power a 22 cubic foot refrigerator. Well, mine is only 14 and it won't, when the condenser kicks on, the condenser of my fridge kicks on, occasionally the Kodiak will shut down. That is most likely because my refrigerator is so old. So what I did is I ordered one of those little college dorm size ones and I want to see if it will power essentially a small house like um, I'll set up my living room like a small home and I want to see if it'll power the refrigerator I don't have a CPAP machine but I do have a breathing machine that Molly use, needs to use and I can probably borrow that from her to see if it'll work uh, and then the TV and the computer in the lights and you know uh, getting all, all your electronics charged and stuff like that so I will be working on that I'm just waiting for the waiting for the refrigerator slash freezer and I'll let you guys know about that uh, once once it happens and I'll make another when the lights go out episode so I know you guys really like those and um, I do use my sun oven I use it all the time I am lucky enough to live in California where we have sunny weather all the time and I use it on a pretty pretty regular basis we've been having a lot of rain recently but when springtime comes I'm going to show you guys a whole bunch of stuff with the oven and I love I love 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 my uh, all-american sun oven and I want to show you guys you know exactly what it can do because there's a lot of misconceptions about it and it works really great so uh, sorry for my babbling I'll, we'll be back in a minute okay so it looks like the food's almost done look out mister oh good I can still touch the handle so I don't want to get too much grease in my potatoes so I'm using this, this spoon that has the holes in it so that it'll drain out. There's something about cooking over a fire that just makes things just delicious. So I've got one teeny tiny gold butter potato and then I've got two eggs from my chickens and a little bit of asparagus in there and a little tiny tiny bit of onion that's also from my garden. So I'm really looking forward to having this. And you know, like I said, the EcoZoom works really good. I'm using it right now. This one is the Versa. There's a Dura and a Versa. And this one's the Versa. So it's Versa, Dura meaning double, and Versa meaning versatile. So it'll, the Versa will, will cook with anything. I haven't tried using pine needles, but I do know a couple of places that have pine trees. And I think I'm gonna, gonna give that a go and uh, try and collect some pine needles 
to, to see if it'll cook with pine needles. And then once you're done with the cooking, I'll show you what you do. Let me get the last pieces of asparagus out here. Oh, look out, mister. Look out. So once you're done with that, you'll have to excuse the movement here. So you just go down here and you close the damper. Well, you close this. This is this is what puts the the wood in and it's still Ah, the wood's too big. Close, dog on it. Okay, well, I'm just going to have to close the damper, which is the bottom one. So you close the damper. This is for so that the air will go up. But the Oh, there we go. And then you close that. As you can see, I've been using it. It's already got rust on it. And then when you're done, what I do is I take this and I put it right down here on shelf number two with my original, my original one, which is homemade. And it served me somewhat well, but it's not quite as <laughs> half as efficient as the EcoZoom. So let's go get a bite to eat. All right, and we're back. So got my egg and potato. And as you guys know, um, I probably share too much information with you, but I told you on my live chat that I stopped sugar and uh, just sugar, not, you know, starches or I'm not on keto or anything where you can't have starches or sugar or carb or starch or anything like that. Just sugar and my double shot drinks. And it's been today's day either 10 or 11 and I'm doing good. Um, I've already lost three and a half pounds in 10 days. So that's just from that. And I'm also back to my workouts. Potato, delicious. Sorry, I keep looking at the wrong screen. I put my phone on my tripod upside down. So you guys are over there. And let's give the egg, egg scrambled egg medley a try. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. So using the the pan that I had, the cast iron pan, it left a crunchiness on the outside of the egg and with the potatoes. So it's an amazing, like crunchy outside exterior. It's delicious. You guys should try this. Mm. Oh, that's so good. All right, do what you can with what you've got. Don't forget to save your money because old age will creep up on you and it'll come a lot faster than you think. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out. I ate all of it. <laughs>